Four years on from its original release, Gripping Beast bring us Sword Point 2nd Edition, a soft cover, 56 page, full colour revision of their 28mm large scale ancient and medieval battle game. The book starts with a thorough list of its contents, then dives into an introduction, basic game and setup details across pages 4 and 5. As the introduction says, these rules are an update rather than a reprint or a complex rewrite. There are subtle differences throughout, and more updates to the rules for shooting and moving. There's a new section on Torsian artillery too, and we'll talk more about that when we get to it. Pages 6 and 7 introduce the game's basic concepts. Always a good idea to list these early on, especially when they're condensed into short and easy to follow sections. Once you're through the winning the game section on page 8, you should already have a pretty good idea of the ways you'll need to push around the command units to achieve victory. The game turn on page 9 is where we get into the meat of Swordpoint's rules and its simultaneous actions gameplay style. Everything is broken into subsections and these have further subheadings. Things are really easy to find when you need to refer back to them during a game. The images evolve here too. From the evocative battle scenes of the introductory pages, resplendent with nicely painted Gripping Beast miniatures, to more illustrative photos of battle. There are top-down examples that illustrate the concepts being covered too, useful stuff and relative of the high production value here. Before we talk about Swordpoint's look any further, we need to do our due diligence and say that we at Wargames Illustrated had a hand in this book's graphic design. We think the look and layout speak for itself, but if you're a cynical sort, feel free to take what we say with a grain of salt. A grain of salt that in the hands of our design team would look as lovely as the layout of Swordpoint 2nd edition. But back to it. It's once the book gets into the shooting phase that fans of Swordpoint will start to see some core updates. The designers have responded to their community and reduced the overall deadliness of shooting units whilst maintaining the danger they pose under the command of an astute general. The movement phase covered between pages 14 and 21 is a detailed look at one of the more complex areas of the game. This phase was somewhere that players could exploit in the original sword point. The designers have firmed up the descriptions and added clarity through the addition of many more top-down examples instead of changing these rules. The results is an impressive, thorough section that covers all but the most extreme edge case possibilities you may encounter. The combat phase on pages 22 to 29 is equally thorough and tackles the combat sequences steps one by one. There are box outs for additional rules that go beyond the basics, making everything easy to digest. Once you're through short sections on cohesion, command figures and order, you'll have all the basic knowledge needed to play a game. Not bad for just 35 pages into the book. Veterans of Swordpoint will see, by this point, there aren't exactly sweeping changes. This second edition is a chance to tweak and improve rather than rip up and start again. With a game enjoyed by as many players as Swordpoint, that's for the best. These changes should, above all, be a huge quality of life improvement when gaming and will be more welcoming to new players. Pages 36 to 39 look at some of the specialist forces that can be chosen in your armies. Chariots are much the same. Elephants have changes to their stampede rules, and there's that new section on Torsian artillery we mentioned earlier. This will bring a new dimension to siege battles in particular. Special rules are covered in the next four pages, and bring flavour to the units you're using your games. And the reference section on page 44 and 45 round out the rules with summarised details of modifiers. Very handy when you need to check something in the heat of battle. Talking of checking things, we're going to skip to the last page of the book and the comprehensive index. This is something we wish all games would put as much attention into. It's broken down in, well, the exact way an index should be. Want to check up on elephants? Sword Point 2nd Edition as you covered. There's the reference to the basic elephant rules on page 39 to 41, then a thorough list of the various other times they occur in the rules. What if the elephant was in combat? That's covered in the combat subsection on elephants too. But we've gotten ahead of ourselves in the flipping. 
back to page 46 and the scenarios section, which, thanks to the game's army list now being in separate publications, have been slotted in in their place. Having structured scenarios often guides play and creates more dynamic and challenging battles, so this seems like a great inclusion. And that's it, a great update to an already popular set of rules, which improve layout and extra clarity in its writing. If you're not sold on the printed version, you can even take a look at the free PDF that covers all the changes between this and the first edition. This video has been brought to you by WI Prime, Wargames Illustrated Magazine's online members club. View more videos or find out more about WI Prime by following these links.